Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here with some more information about the 4.0 update for No Man's Sky and the Switch version. When is it coming out? We probably have some details right now. So first, let's get into the details for the Nintendo Switch launch. Everyone's asking, well, what time does it actually unlock if I bought it digitally on the Nintendo store? What time does it launch? Or when can I buy the uh, actual cartridge? Well, the cartridge depends on the store in your location. You go to like, you know, any local game store, they will have cartridges starting Friday. But if you bought No Man's Sky digitally on the Nintendo store, it will actually unlock 9 p.m. Pacific time. That is midnight Eastern time in the United States. Now, this is going to change depending on your location. But looking at the customer support page for Nintendo, it actually states that in general, games that have a physical release will actually have a digital release at midnight on that day. So midnight, Thursday night, Friday morning, midnight is when it releases and that applies to your time zone. So long story short, it'll release midnight Eastern time. That ends up being like 9 p.m. if you're on the West Coast in the United States. Very, very awesome. I can't wait, you'll be able to play it. Now, the other question is, when is the 4.0 update going to release? Because it does not release with the Nintendo version. It releases around the Nintendo version. So what I mean by that is you'll get the Nintendo Switch version or any other version, you know, your Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and you can play it, but it doesn't come with the 4.0 update. You have to download that separately, and we have no concrete information on when that's going to happen. I will tell you from the past, you know, few years that I've been playing No Man's Sky, the updates usually come, in the United States anyway, early morning. So it's scheduled for Friday, which means we will see the update anytime after like 5 a.m. Friday morning. So that's when you're going to be able to play the 4.0 update for No Man's Sky. And guys, you want to jump into this update because it is going to, it's not, you know, a major content update but it is a revision of No Man's Sky. Again, if you haven't seen, you know, if you don't know the details, I'll link a video down below in the description on the details, a longer video, but just the overview of what we're gonna get. We're gonna have a revamped survival mode. It's gonna be more difficult. We're also going to have a revamped inventory system. So uh, the way Sean Murray puts it is, you can increase your player level cap. Meaning, in my opinion, he didn't go into details, but what I think is we're going to see a lot more upgrades or uh, upgrade space in your suit multi-tool uh, starships. You're going to get more upgrades or the ability to add more upgrades into your character. We're also going to see new game modes. So the first one is relaxed mode. It's a more calming you know, story-driven mode, exploration-driven mode, rather than survival. So survival elements have been toned down a lot. It's not as easy as creative, but it's not even as close to as hard as like normal or survival mode. And then we also have a customized mode. We don't know the detail, a lot of details about it, but when Sean Murray was interviewed, he said that you're gonna be able to customize your game experience meaning you can turn on and off different things like we well, you know for sure permadeath is going to be one of those settings so if you want to play a normal mode save but you want to turn on permadeath you'll you'll be able to have that option of turning it on or off so theoretically what we what we think is going to happen is there is no more permadeath mode by itself it's now an option you can turn on rather than being a whole mode and there's going to be other customizations you can use for your custom games as well we don't know how it's going to be implemented we think it's going to be more like a minecraft menu where you start a brand new save and before you get in there you're able to turn on and off different options before you even start the game and then once you've set it it's set and you can't change it once you've started the game but before you do you can change them that's going to be very very cool and then we have an overhaul to the saving 
system in general for the game. So now instead of getting in and out of your ship to create an autosave, it is just going to be constantly saving in the background. Again, not a lot of details on what that means. If it's like a timed event, like every five minutes is saving or whatever happens to be, but there's going to be constant saves in the background. And also there's going to be manual saves still. So if you want to make a uh, manual save, like if you're bu base building or doing something intensive and you want to be able to go back like an hour or two, you'll be able to make a manual save, but the auto save system is going to be totally revamped. So I'm really excited. Are you guys really excited? Let me know down in those comments down below. And guys, get ready. Tonight, midnight, we will have No Man's Sky on the Switch. I can't wait to jump into it. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to see the 4.0 update. This is a massive time to be a No Man's Sky player. So hopefully I'll see you guys there. And remember, I will be streaming No Man's Sky on the Switch tomorrow. It's Friday morning when it's released, when the 4.0 update is out. I will be streaming it. That way you guys can check it out, see for yourselves how it runs, if it's worth it or not. I will let you guys know. I'll let you see it. You can see it for your own eyes. So I will see you guys tomorrow.